This practical nugget is all about testing a leaf for starch. The aim of this practical is to identify if photosynthesis has occurred in the leaf of a plant. Some background information. Plants make glucose during photosynthesis. Some of that glucose made is converted into starch, a long molecule made up of long chains of glucose molecules chemically joined together. Starch is used as an energy store and is stored in cells in most parts of a plant. In the leaves, starch is stored in the chloroplasts. Since leaves contain a large number of chloroplasts, we can expect to find a lot of starch stored in them. This means that we can test a leaf for starch and prove that photosynthesis has taken place. A plant that is commonly used in schools is the geranium that is shown here. We use iodine solution to test for starch because in the presence of starch it turns from orange brown to a blue black colour. However it won't work when placed directly on a leaf. A leaf needs to be specially prepared so that the iodine can reach the cells where the starch is stored. Let's look at the equipment we're going to need to carry out this practical. We will need a leaf, a white tile, forceps, a heat proof mat, a beaker, gauze, a Bunsen burner, boiling tube and a tripod. Let's now look at the reagents that we're going to need. Reagents are the substances or chemicals used in an experiment to bring about a chemical reaction or to test if a reaction has occurred. The reagents needed in this experiment are iodine and ethanol. We need to be careful though because ethanol is harmful if swallowed and is also highly flammable. Our safety considerations with this practical are iodine, which will stain skin and objects, ethanol, which is harmful and highly flammable, so needs to be kept away from naked flames, no eating or drinking, take care with boiling water and hot equipment, and wear eye protection. We're now going to go through the method. Step 1. Set up the equipment as shown on the right. So you'll need a heatproof mat, a Bunsen burner placed on top of the heatproof mat, tripod placed over the Bunsen burner, and the gauze to rest on top of the tripod. Step 2. Place a beaker of water on top of the gauze. Step 3. Turn the Bunsen burner on and open the air hole to the roaring blue flame. Step 4. Heat the water until it is boiling. Step 5. Using the forceps, carefully place the leaf in the boiling water and boil the leaf for one minute. This step is important because the boiling water kills the leaf, removes the waxy cuticle and disrupts the cell membranes and cell walls. This makes it possible to extract the chlorophyll with ethanol and allows the iodine to penetrate the cells. Step 6. After one minute, turn the Bunsen burner off and then use the forceps to take the leaf out of the water. Step 7. Carefully place the leaf in a boiling tube filled with ethanol. Remember, ethanol is extremely flammable and can easily set alight if brought near to a flame. Therefore, it is essential that the Bunsen burner is turned off when carrying out this step. Step 8. Place the boiling tube in the beaker of hot water for 10 minutes. You will notice that the ethanol will start to boil. Chlorophyll is soluble in ethanol, so as the ethanol starts to boil, it will allow it to remove the chlorophyll from the leaf more quickly. After 10 minutes, the leaf will be almost white and the ethanol will have turned green from all the chlorophyll. Step 9. Take the boiling tube out of the beaker and carefully remove the leaf. Using the forceps, carefully rinse the leaf in the hot water and then spread it out on the tile. Step 11. Place drops of iodine solution over the leaf. If starch is present, the iodine will react with the starch and a blue-black colour appears on the leaf. If the leaf remains orange-brown, we can assume that there is no starch in that part of the leaf. Conclusion The areas of the leaf that turn blue-black show that photosynthesis has occurred. This is because iodine turns blue-black in the presence of starch. Starch can only be made from glucose, which is only made when a plant carries out photosynthesis.